We found Jamaica! We found Jamaica! <laughs> <laughs> We're here in live in Brixton. Okay. Alright, we're going to go to Jamaica. Um, so this is like an ITAL. Okay. They even got reggae playing? <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, very true. Okay. Yeah. I miss Jamaica. I miss Kingston. I think I'm culturally shook. I mean, maybe not as welcoming as Jamaica. Do you see what I mean about the gentrified aspect? Because that's like not ran by like Jamaicans. <sighs> Alright guys, so I'm trying to process how I feel. For my first time ever, I'm kind of like grieving a country. Welcome back to another video. If you're not updated, I am not currently in Jamaica anymore. I am currently in London and I'm actually in Brixton. So I'm just outside of Brixton station at the moment and I'm with my girl Tasha, who we met in Jamaica. So I very much heard that like Brixton is little Jamaica as you said. Yeah, everyone came during like the winter, kind of like 50s, 60s onwards and a lot of people settled here from Jamaica. The Empire Windrush brings to Britain 500 Jamaicans. Many are ex-servicemen who know England. In Jamaica, they couldn't find work. Discouraged but full of hope, they sailed for Britain. Brixton is very much like part of Jamaica, you yeah. know, and it's got that vibe and energy. You're a chocolate. You know what I'm interested in like seeing if it still has that like same vibe and same energy. Oh, look. Oh, they have patties. Yeah. This reminds me of Jamaica. <laughs> like good prices as well. You, you don't want to be on video? Yeah, that's alright. Is it alright if I like video record your thing? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. I mean, maybe not as welcoming as Jamaica. Yes, no, for real. Welcome to London. Um, okay. <laughs> that's a bit rude. <laughs> Anyway, this guy doesn't want to be on camera and he said like, we could only film if we bought something So we're about to buy some juices. Oh, <gasps> they have sour sub juice Oh, wild. Do you guys have card? Yeah, what's this? Sugar, sugar? Lemon, lime, ginger, spirulina. So no like added sugar or anything like that? Added sugar. Oh, okay. If you want what? no added sugar, come to the green Alright, alright. Okay. You sure you don't want to be on camera to promote Nothing, your team? No, I'm not. I'm, what do they call it? You know, what's it called? Oh, oh, what's it called? Oh. oh, don't do that to yourself, man. Oh, what do you mean? Yeah, man. Thank you. Bye. All right, we got our little juices. Cucumber, lemon. What's this? Ah, oh, blessing dresser. This is the number. Come on, you got some? Okay. Yeah, the Oh, is that you? Yeah, take out your phone and scan that. Oh, okay, yeah, man. So, bless up, man. Now, my name is Artex. And I have a new song out right now called In The Moment. I bless up the beautiful Queen here and our friend here over here, man. We're here in live in Brixton, yeah? yeah man. From Kingston, Jamaica. Yeah, man. So check it out, man. In The You're Moment. You're from Kingston, Jamaica? Yeah, Where man, about? Yeah, man. Uh, born in the uptown area. Still. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man. Ooh, okay. So we have some, like, sea moss. Yeah. Some bitters. Sour soap leaves. Uh, yeah, I'm on a little health kick thing, so, like... Thing. All right. Yeah, I need a little bit of help to, you know, like, Detox. I'm trying to get fit for when I go back to Jamaica at the end of the year. Listen, man. I want to tell I world. I mm -hmm. want to tell let your food be your medicine. And your medicine be your food. Health is wealth. That is Do it. not promise you good in nothing at all. You have to clean and clean the system. So how you cleanse the system from A to Z? You take the bitters. Oh, yes, yeah, you got aloe vera, bitter wood, yeah. wormwood, senna leaf, senna pad, mm. um, dandelion, dry orange peel, cascara, cigara. You take it for nine days, twice daily, empty stomach. Just before you go to bed. First thing when you wake up in the morning. And you do that for nine days. Use the process of you doing that. Change your diet. Yeah. So you rid yourself of the rice, the flour, the bread, the wheat, the meat. For at least nine days when you're taking these things. So you clean away the mucus, cool, gas. Yeah, and after man. you clean. No need. No, uh, yeah. the number one immune system builder. All very, right. very good. When all else fails, no need. After cleansing, rejuvenate. So this is the Iron Plus. Iron Plus. Sea mass, burdock, uh -huh. bladderwrack, uh -huh. saucy perla roots, and baobab powder. 
electric. We have the mama gel and we have the papa gel. Okay. One Did tablespoon you know? every morning. You don't need Viagra. <laughs> wake up. <laughs> me I tell you, I want and a rasta, I want and a wake up. Yeah. I put where the Viagra and sit here, straight mm. through the roof. Mm. Blessings, Rasta, yeah, man. Blessings. That is it. Bless them up, and that is it. Uh, Rasta, oh. that is it. We found Jamaica. Hundred percent. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I miss Jamaica. I miss a member. So them look out for the new song from Artex. Put the camera up on him. Then. Yeah, man. Yeah, Put the camera up on him. Yeah, my man. Words, say something to the world. Respect, man. And I give thanks, yeah, yeah. Everywhere that we go, oh, all the places that we see, I just wanna live my life. Yeah, man, give thanks. That yeah. is it. Bless we love yourself. Yeah. Yeah, respect. Respect. Yeah, respect. Yeah, respect. All right, guys. I'm gonna buy a few things from here, uh, and then well, I'll um check back in with you guys soon. Hello. Oh, what are we doing? Yes, ma, we are check the cayenne tincture. Your sister get some. It's a liquid cayenne tincture. Very good for circulation. Very good for gas. Very good for. Oh, 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 oh. I am me. Mean. That she said. All right, and look at me now. Look at me. Come, breathe again. Oxygen in the blood. Oxygen to the brain. Get the circulation going. Ah, why do you uh. have oxygen stand? Between five and ten minutes, all of that sensation go. Alright, so what was that exactly? If somebody's having an asthma, a heart attack, a stroke, one or three drops of this under the tongue, straight instantly. Open the arteries and make oxygen start come back in. Yeah. Plus, to describe that, that was just like a very like bitter. It's not the bitters, but it is bitter, yes, isn't it? And the, the, because of the cayenne, yeah. it's like an electric it's a electric circuit just hit you with one thousand volts. Yes. Bam! So I do feel cleansed, Instant not gonna cleanse. lie. Definitely <laughs> in a shift. Alright, I think I'm gonna get the bitters, sour shop leaves. And we want to follow you, you know, we don't hear you talk about how to follow you yet. Yeah. How to follow bless you. Bless up Jess. Tell us. Yeah, bless up Jess on YouTube. Oh, bless up Jess. Yeah. 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 So we want to bless up Jess now if you know what I'm To the world. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, respect so, here. Bless up Jess. We are so Jamaican, no, and so we can do the tongue fist and so we do it. Hey! No, Why? Don't I mean. I fight me. Are we, are we, go, are we going to fight? Are we gonna no, fight? No, so we're so gonna so fight. See the connection. Mama and Papa link together. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Everything. Alright, And I hear him push. Push! In the fire. Push. Nah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Life, what up? Life. No, we're not alive. I hear him push the rest of my life. This is the same princess. Thank you. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Respect. Alright guys, we got our bitters and sour shop leaves. In our, in our cheap gal. <laughs> Compared to Jamaica, this cost me 37 pounds. Oh wow. Obviously it's a big bottle of bitters, but yeah. You reckon they sell sour shop here? <gasps> they are massive sour shop. So this one's 14 per kilo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 14 pounds a kilo. Yeah. Because you have to think that exported to the other side of the world. Yeah. <gasps> they have kinnips. What? Really sad tells Them from Jamaica? Yeah. Yeah? Well I don't know if they wanna from but I'm from Jamaica. Oh, <laughs> you're from Jamaica, but you don't know if these from Jamaica. Ah, oh, how much you selling for? Ten pounds a kilo. Ten pounds a kilo. Alright, we're seeing here. It's expensive, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, it's expensive. My bank account can't afford that anymore, so... I Let's keep it pushing, we can, I, we can get Guinness um, for free in Jamaica when I go back. As we continued to walk through Brixton, I came across many items that you would typically find in Jamaica, from plantain chips, cinnamon rolls, and even your classic spice buns, which I refrained from buying. We then came across a food truck called Sweet Like Yard that sold all your classic Jamaican dishes. You could see the influence of Jamaica everywhere, from the shops, restaurants, and even the murals painted on the walls. It soon became clearly evident to me just how strongly and boldly the Jamaican culture had been embedded here into Brixton. We then came across a vinyl record store that sparked a little bit of curiosity. 
It had given me an eerie sense of deja vu from something similar I had seen when I was in downtown Kingston. Am I to film in here? Oh no. Yeah? Yeah? Hi. Okay, no worries. Roots Rock Reggae. It gives me very much like the Rockers International in Kingston. You know? Vibes. Alright, thanks guys. But do you see what I mean about the gentrified aspect? Because that's like not ran by like Jamaicans. Yeah, I was literally just about to say that record store, like it's the, the reggae, it's not black owned. So I was a bit confused. Not confused, but like. I was Okay, yeah, we were confused because it gave, you know, it gave me like Rockers International vibes down in Kingston, yeah? Very much like reggae and stuff like that, but then like, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Stay tuned. This is just a brief intermission regarding Hurricane Beryl and the impact that it had on Jamaica. Will you get help from the government to, to repair? Well, I'm not sure about that still. We feel like the people in here have to go do their own thing. In a crisis, we are never too proud to say we need the help. I think the people in Rocky Point and Portland Cottage in Southeast Clarendon and on that southern belt would want the nation to know that they have been badly hit as well. I think the people in the southern end of St. Elizabeth, they would want the country to know that they have been badly hit as well. I think the people in Hanover would want some attention paid on them from the national media. And in St. Thomas as well, they would also want to know, and in some areas of St. Anne. We today will be creating a, a website. It's called disasterfund.opm.gov.jm. This website will serve as a single source to accept donations from persons who want to support the national relief effort. Donations received will be matched by the NCB foundation up to a limit of 150 million dollars if you give uh ncb foundation is going to give more if you would like to donate i will leave the link in the description big up on ourselves and back to the video i mean for some reason i do feel like this has like very jamaican vibes because like i'm automatically like huh of who Victoria. i'm not Victoria. oh so yes, thank you so much oh, no no i'm sorry <laughs> Oh, you see you though. You see Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does Rita Ora look like? Thank you. I'm not Rita Ora. Do you get that though? I do not know. Do you get that though? No. I don't even know what Rita Ora. Such perfection as well. I was like, oh wow. All right, guys, we just reached um, Oracle Juice Bars, um, which I think they do like Ital food here. Um, so let's see mm -hmm. what they got. Yeah, do Ital food? Did you want some food? Did you do Ital food? Yeah. Yes, please. Let's see what them got. Um, so this is like an Ital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nature. Okay. So which one do you want then? Soup or? What you got? Just you have soup stew. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, do the stew. Huh? Yeah, do the stew. Try, try this, right? This, right. this is the soup. So, yam, sweet potatoes, everything is inside. Mm -hmm. It's like the old food. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. That's really nice. So, which one? I've got chickpeas and the rice and the, the same thing that's here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let me get that. Okay, no problem. I'm gonna try the. Actually, I wanna try the bitters that I got. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your girl needs bitters. You wanna try some? Yeah, I'll try some. Right, so with like bitters, I'm pretty sure that you're supposed to like shot it, but like not let it touch the, the tip of your like tongue, otherwise okay. it like tastes like really, really, really bitter. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, see that's manageable when you don't let it touch the tip of your tongue. Okay. Do you want to try some? Yeah, okay. So, don't let it touch the tip of my tongue? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's good for you. Do you have TCP in Australia? In Australia? No. It's like a disinfectant. Oh. It's like for like wounds and like things like that. Like it's that, and it's got very, it tastes like yeah. the smell of TCP. Okay. Yeah, so. Yeah. I mean, it's not like the best tasting, but like it's supposed to be like really, really, really good for your 
your blood. Your, blood, your, your blood like it's supposed to like mm -hmm. detox and you know we're on a health kick team mm -hmm. so I'm trying to stick to that like the best that I can I hear you. I'm gonna give this like a little try cucumber lemon lime no sugar I'm trying to like reduce my sugar mm -hmm. cause them spice ones girls oh yeah that's just like fresh and yeah that, that, that's that's just like cucumber like juice and lemon mm -hmm. guys the food has just come out and it looks so good i am mean this looks so good so it's like wild rice chickpea um fried plantain um some avocado and this is like the sip or the soup all right let's eat this tash and i are gonna eat this that's really good. The chickpea? That's really good. Alright, let's try it. And it's got a nice spice to it as well. That's really good. That's so good. Wow. Yeah. These, these chickpeas are so good. Wow. Fried plantain. You know I like me some plantain. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the wild rice. Mm. People are passing and they're saying it looks really good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that! It looks like it's got like some pumpkin in it. Um, so he said potatoes. It's got like peas and stuff like that. I tried it before and it was really good. I really like that. Yeah, I like it. Bland. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This has more. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah, the chickpeas are. Really, really, really like flavorsome. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, we're gonna eat this. Yeah. Have some gal chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll check back in with you guys soon. All right, guys. We just finished up at it was Oracles, was it? Oracles juice bar. They were the best chickpeas that I've ever tasted in a life. That whole whole thing was ten pounds. So I think that's pretty decent. Yeah. yeah that was that's really, really good. good with the box. So yeah, really good vibes there. So definitely recommend checking that out. We're just going to go maybe find somewhere to sit for a bit. Um, but I'll check back in with you guys soon. Uh, let's get together and feel alright. So they even got reggae flames? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I miss Jamaica. I hear it. I miss Kingston. I think I'm culturally shook. Like the point of me coming to Brixton is one of this is like my first time in yeah, Brixton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I actually lived in London like for six months last year, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I never went to Brixton, but like I heard about it and I heard that like there's a very large like Jamaican community yeah. here. Um, and then I was just kind of like interested to see if it like felt like Jamaica and mm. no. No, it's not it's not the going to do you know what I mean? You know, us, we've literally just yeah. come back yeah, from yeah, Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. The difference in like energy and vibes is very, very, you know, you, you can't compare. So. Yeah, you too. Big up yourself, yeah? Yeah, I felt like I was missing like the energy and vibes, and I thought I would be able to like find that here. I mean, bits and pieces I have, but obviously, you know, we're in London, we're not in Jamaica, I can't expect that, so. Yeah, this is cool. Alright guys, so um, Tash is just taking me to like, I guess like the centre of... Centre point of Brixton. Yeah, yeah, and it's a really cool vibe. Let me spin you around so you guys can see you are gone. So I think like the station's down there, Brixton Station. And then there's just like this little like square um, that has like a lot of things going on. Hmm. Saturday afternoon in Brixton for you guys. I see like a lot of like people with like the Jamaican like the Rasta hats and stuff like that. Yeah, it's quite cool, quite cool. <sighs> Alright guys, so I ended up coming back to east of London, which is where I'm staying. I left Tasha, it was such a great day. I'm trying to process like how I feel. <sighs> I mentioned that like going to Brixton made me feel like a little bit sad and I didn't know why, but I think I can put my finger on it. And I don't know if anyone's going to be able to relate to this or not, but how I feel going to Brixton is that um, there is a lot of like influence of Jamaica in Brixton and it's like I was given like some breadcrumbs of Jamaica or you know the feeling that I had in Jamaica but not given like the full the full thing 
if that makes sense. Like I was able to taste like a crumb of a cookie, but I wasn't able to have the whole cookie. So it made me like, it made me sad. Um, and I don't know if that makes sense at all. It's like, I think for my first time ever, I'm kind of like grieving a country. And this is like a new new feeling for me because before going to Brixton today, I was kind of fine. Um, I was fine with like being here in London and you know, I was feeling good because the reason why I did come back to London was because I did want to try and set myself up in a routine. I just needed some stability, if that makes sense, um, to, you know, focus on my health, focus on my fitness. But then, yeah, it was all good before that, all good. Um, until I went to Brixton today where I saw like that influence of Jamaica in Brixton and yeah, it just made me sad. Don't get me wrong, like I did like Brixton, but I think I set my expectations a little bit too high. I don't know why in my head I thought that I was going to get the same like feeling that I would um, when I was in Jamaica. <laughs> um, and I think maybe I just set myself out up for disappointment but it was still good and I really really did have a good time I'm not too sure where this London journey is going to take me to be honest look stay tuned because I don't even know what to expect from myself at this point I don't even know like what's gonna <laughs> come out of this um, and I feel like I have recently been putting pressure on myself because I feel like this perhaps self pressure that I have to stick to a particular box or put myself in a particular box um, when in reality I do enjoy like a lot of different things I enjoy cooking I enjoy going to the gym I enjoy solo traveling I um, enjoy Jamaica I enjoy this I enjoy that and sometimes like society does like to put it on us that like we have to choose one particular thing that we have to stick to and be interested in but throughout my whole life that's just never been aligned to me like I have always tried so many different things and I think that we shouldn't restrict ourselves into being just one thing or doing one thing because life is so like beautiful that how boring would it be just to do one thing for the rest of our lives like we have this opportunity to explore and you know have fun so look that's just my thoughts that's just where my brain pattern is taking me and look who knows stay tuned um, for this journey and you know I don't even know where it's gonna take me so we'll see but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. I don't even know what it's going to be. So stay tuned, guys. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope everyone is doing well. And I will see you very soon. Bye, guys.